नमस्कार मैं कुमार नारायण श्रेष्ठ फ्रॉम त्रिवेन यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू फोनेटिक्स इट्स अ डिफिकल्ट सब्जेक्ट फॉर द स्टूडेंट ऑफ त्रिवेन यूनिवर्सिटी एंड एज वेल एज एल्सवेयर आल्सो सो आई लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट phonetics today it means so simply in my class in my lecture today i'm going to cover definition of phonetics and branches of phonetics first of all let me define what is phonetics in common sense or commonly what we can say is it is the study of speech sound in general it means phonetic studies speech sound there are two terms you have to mind uh, they are speech and sounds if we go a little bit further what we can see is that phonetic concern with production uh, physical nature and perception of speech sound see the terminologies used here uh production uh physical nature and perceptions of speech sounds uh let's go even further another definition that could clear your misunderstanding let's see is the science which studies the characteristics of human sound making let's see here human sound making especially those sounds using speeds not elsewhere using speeds using communication that means and provides method for their description classification and transcription so let's see here the terminology used in this definition human sound making these sounds should not be nonsense the sounds should be uh, using human speech human language human communication that means so the functional areas of this phonetics this subject is description classification and transcription so here human sound making human meaningful sound making and studying its description or their description classification and transcription let's see another definition by lady fozet phonetics concerned with describing the speech sound that occur in the language of the world is so somehow general even we are going into the general definition so let us or let me define in another way uh phonetics is a study of human speech sound as it studies production transmission and reception aspect of speech sound so this idea as i said earlier note down the terminology scientific study one human speech sound meaningful human speech sound you have to say better and studying their production transmission and reception aspects let's be a little bit technical following david crystal according to david david crystal phonetics is a noun the science which studies the characteristics of human sound making especially those sound using speech and provides method for description that in capital you get here uh, let me indicate with pen here description one uh, classification two and transcription three these terminologies are a very crucial to understand the concept of phonetics okay again let's let me read out other three branches of 
the subject are generally recognized. Number A, articulatory phonetics, is the study of the way speech sounds are made, articulated by the vocal organ or a speech organ. One, V, acoustic phonetics, study the physical properties of a speech sound and transmitted between mouth and ear and C, auditory phonetics, which studies the perceptual response to speech sound as mediated by ear, articulatory nerves and brain. It means this definition is indicating toward the branches of phonetics, which we are going to talk. Before this, uh, let me clear the concept of phonetics once again and I'll move toward the branches of phonetics. So let's see two definitions here. Phonetic studies the vocal organs through the use of which we articulate the sound of its speech. It studies sound waves, which is physical way in which sounds are transmitted through ear from one person to another. And it studies the way in which human beings perceive sounds through the medium of ear. There is another one. The phonetics is the study, scientific study of production, transmission, and perception of human speech sounds. So finally, uh, I would like to recommend the definition I have written at the bottom of this slide. Look at here. It is the scientific study. It's not a haphazard study. Scientific study of the production aspect of human, human meaningful sound used in communication. That means, remember this, study of production, transmission, and perception of meaningful human sounds, not meaningless human sound. So you can use this definition. I think uh, you have got clear idea of phonetics. Phonetics is a scientific study of production, transmission, and perception of meaningful human sounds. Meaningful human sounds. So from def this definition, I would like to lead you toward the branches of phonetics. Look at here, as I said earlier also, branches of phonetics. So there can be different grounds, different vishis, to categorize uh, phonetics in, into different branches. Uh, let's see, phonetics look at speech sound from three perspectives. These are the main perspective based on the definition we concluded earlier. Uh, speech or coming in speech and communication, there will be a speaker, they will use different vocal organ, speech organ, uh, articulatory apparatus, apparatuses, you can say, channel, a transmission, transmission means uh, sending information from speaker to hearer, it can be transmission means or medium, and another party, listener, we have perception by ear, that means listener will perceive through ear, through brain, and their can be some sort of uh, decoding mechanism also. So three stakeholders technically will be there. Speaker, in between speaker and listener, there will be channel. So on this ground, we can categorize human, meaningful human speech sounds into three categories, articulated phonetics, that means Acoustic phonetics and auditory phonetics. Once again, articulated phonetics, acoustic phonetics, and auditory phonetics. You can compare, look at here, uh, uh, the relationship between speaker with articulated phonetics, channel with acoustic phonetics and listener with auditory phonetics. Let me prove the relationship. Once again, let me describe this in a little bit 
in this. Okay, what is articulated phonetics? Articulatory, the name also you can guess. Articulate, reduce or make or articulate let's say. It will deal that area. So it studies the vocal organs through the use of which we articulate this, this sound. Look at here once again. It studies the vocal organs. Studies the vocal organ. If you omit the remaining part, you'll be clear. Studies the vocal organ. Speech organ here. Articulated apparatuses here. That means through the use of which we articulate the sound of his speech. Not nonsense sounds. Sound of his speech. Sounds of that particular language. That means. So again, it is studies, we can say further, studies the anatomy and physiology of his speech. Anatomy, the structure of organ of his speech. So it is believed there are no such uh, organ of his speech, but we believe there should be. It means even though articulation of sounds can be the secondary function or is the second function, of those organs, there are some such type of organs in our body. And physiology, function, functional rule, the rule of organs of speech in sound production. These things are studied in articulate phonetics. But the layman cannot study this sort of thing. For this, what do we need is, or, or what do we need are tools. We need tool or tools to study articulatory aspect of phonetics. That means if you want to absorb, if you, if you want to uh, study vocal organs, you can't see all the organs for our bare or naked eyes. At the time, you need some certain tools. They are Direct observation also, for example, lips, teeth, and some part of tongue, we can see for our bare eyes also. Furthermore, we can use mirror also for the study of our organs. And only these things are not enough. Therefore, we need X-ray machine, EMG, electromagnetography also, is a technical term for uh, we people. But only linguists cannot study. Only the tool used by linguists cannot study everything of articulated phonetics. That's why we need to take help. Expert, that means expert, that means doctor. Otherwise, it would be uh, difficult to study everything. Okay, let me go a little bit further, another one, another branch of phonetics, that is acoustic phonetics. It is in between speaker and hear. In between speaker and hear, we need certain medium, or we need media. So, acoustic phonetics, begin after the speaker speak or it begins from the mouth of the speaker and ends at the ear of the hearer you can say so it studies the physical properties of sound waves how through which medium or media it get transmitted it gets transmitted so it studies the ways in which sounds are transmitted through the ear from one person to another person from mouth to the ear, that means. So it is restricted to instrumental analysis and measurement of sound waves. Common person, layman, cannot study. It needs even more advanced tool than articulated phonetics. So to study sound wave, pitch, frequency, loudness, intensity, etc., we need advanced tool. 
scientific tool for electronic devices. That's why it is difficult for us. But acoustic phonetics is somehow specialized than other or more specialized than articulated phonetics. For this, we need different tools as we need in articulated phonetics. They are sound spectrograph, computer program, and there can be many more other devices, which even we don't know. The a linguist doesn't know about this. So it's very, very much advanced, more advanced than articulatory. We are being far more complex one after another. The next branch of phonetics is auditory phonetics. By the name suggest, it begins from the ear, ear of the hearer. When we hear what happens in our mind, how do we understand these domain? These domains are the area of articulated phonetics, auditory phonetics, sorry. So it studies the way in which human being perceive and identify speech sounds the medium of through the medium of ear. For example, dog means kukur. For our Nepali, kukur means dog. Dog means kukur. How do you get picture of kukur and dog? It will be different according to the language here will perceive different idea. For example, basket. Basket in Nepali, what do we do? We use namlo and we put namlo on our head and hang basket on our back. But basket for foreigner, right, is a like a dustbin where we put something. It's a, simply a bean, I mean, where we can put something and carry in our hands, on our head. So according to culture, according to place, meaning differs. But when we say basket, Nepali learner of English, they will understand different thing. So these thing, how it means, how it deals with the perceptual response to speech sound. As mediated by ear, auditory nerves and brain. These three things, look at here, mediated by ear, and then from ear, it is transmitted through auditory nerves, and it reaches in our brain, and our brain tells us, notices us something different. So it's ear, nerves, and brain activity, or activities. It means, as I said earlier, dog, the word dog, the word kukur. When we hear the sound, a sound, ga sound, in a united form, it will be dog. And what we hear, this same sound, but our brain will give us a picture of animal an animal. So this studies the sensation of pitch, loudness, length, and sound quality. Sensation, even pitch also. Come here, and come here, right? Different sense also. Pitch, loudness. Are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? Look at here. Listen me again. I am a teacher. I am a teacher. She is a teacher. She is a teacher. Statement. She is a teacher. Right? So, loudness, length, sound quality, these all, all have different meaning. And these meanings are imparted by auditory phonetics. Among all, it is less developed. So, brain, you need listen the word brain even scientists they are not able to study everything of brain how does it work it's a complex thing very expensive even for treatment you can see so it's a purely medical very complex 
the most difficult area to study, right? But some sort of thing, some sort of operation can be done. Some sort of study can be done. There are some devices. So auditory phonetics simply studies how does our ear receive or perceive sound? How does that sound go to our nerves? Drain, then how does our brain provide this meaning? These study, these things uh, come under auditory phonetics. Phonetician, linguist, or even doctor, their concern over here is to study functional areas of ear, nerves, and brain in course of sound perception or, or meaning generation. This is the wholesome understanding, definition, explanation, let's say, of uh, auditory phonetics. Uh, if you are interested to do assignment, if you are free and if you want to learn more, it is assignment one, is specially prepared for MED level student. You can write this, what is phonetics? I discuss about this. Describe three approaches to study of speech sound. What is articulatory phonetics? Speech organ, articulation, etc. Are here. Please do the assignment and submit. Let me summarize my class today. Let me take pen. Look at the last definition. What is phonetics once again? Phonetics is the scientific study of production, transmission, and perception. Production, transmission from some uh, moving sound from one place to another place, from mouth to the ear of the uh, mouth from the speaker to the ear of the hearer, and perception. How does that hearer listen something? Transmitted through nerves and provides meaning to a brain. What those sounds would be? Meaningful human sound, uh, which could be used in communication, human communication, not elsewhere. From this definition, we can take three terms, production, transmission, and perception. And on this ground, we can categorize phonetics into three branches. They are articulatory phonetics, how sounds are articulated in our speech organ. It is the area of articulate phonetics, acoustic phonetics, how sounds are transmitted from mouth of the speaker to the ear of the hearer. That is the study of phonetics. And auditory phonetics, it studies how sounds are heard, listened, and they are transmitted through nerves to the brain. And how does that brain provide meaning? These are the areas, study areas of three branches of phonetics. And for all of these, we need some sort of tool in case of articulate phonetics, even we can observe something, but X-ray, uh, electromagnetography are necessary. In acoustic phonetics, sound spectrograph, computer program, and many other, other tools are necessary. And auditory phonetics, we need some devices to study our uh, ear, our nerve system, our brain. Many more complex devices are necessary for that. And common linguist, only linguist and only uh, surgeon and doctor, neurologist, they cannot study. There should be combination of linguist and neurologist, both to study auditory phonetics. That's why among all auditory phonetics is least developed, is the least developed field and more complex. 
thank you thank you for uh, listening my lecture